Now here's another example of something that moves and also involves heat. I showed you over there an example of, of several things that converted ordinary motion into heat. Uh, now I want to show you um, a device that converts heat into motion. And it works because there's a little flask here that has a little bit of water in the bottom. And underneath is a burner called a Meeker burner. And it's uh, powered by natural gas. So I'll turn the gas on and light the burner. And what do you think will happen to the water in a little while? It'll boil. That's right. Now when the water begins to boil, you notice that there's some little nozzles here that come out and make a right angle bend. Uh, what do you think will come out these nozzles after a while? What do you think? Hot air. There will be a lot of hot air that comes out of those, but there's something else as well. What do you think? Steam, Steam exactly. So um, after a, a moment or two, you'll begin to see this boiling. And you'll see that because there'll be bubbles there, and that'll give you a clue that it's boiling. And you'll see something starting to come out here. And what do you think will happen to this thing once the steam starts to come out? It'll turn into gas. Steam is a gas already. Uh, but um, indeed, some, some gaseous water will come out of there. And what will happen? It'll spin around. That's right. You may have seen those lawn sprinklers that look kind of like that. When the water comes out, they go round and round, don't they? That's exactly the same principle that the rocket works on. The rocket works because something comes out one way, and that propels it around in the opposite direction. So now, can you see something coming out here? Yeah. What is that? Steam? Actually, it's not. Steam is an invisible gas. What you're seeing is when the steam comes out, it's very hot. And when it comes in contact with the air, which is much colder than the steam, um, it condenses back into liquid water. But not liquid like we've got in there. Very tiny droplets of liquid water. So tiny that you call it steam. And in fact, that's what a cloud is. And so it's going round and round. So this is a special kind of engine that we call Hero's Engine, invented over 2,000 years ago by Hero of Alexandria. And uh, he designed this, and he thought it was uh, a clever type of engine.